The Vazere Valley in southwestern France harbors prehistoric archaeological sites and caves, including Lascaux Cave. It has been faithfully reproduced in the new International Cave Painting Center, about 800 meters away from the actual grotto. This is already the second reproduction. Inside, it's cool and damp, and sound is muffled. For this construction, we were able to use modern technologies, like laser models and video projections. And we reproduced the entire cave, with twice as much surface as in Lascaux too. We reproduced parts that we formerly had only a mere inkling of. Thirty artists spent more than three years copying the original cave paintings on imitation rock walls made of steel and acrylic resin. They used the same painting and drawing techniques as our cave-dwelling ancestors. This work was pure emotion. Every time we painted something, we had to have at least an idea of why the original artist drew and made this the way he did. There were times when our whole team was completely fascinated by some small detail. Even if this detail might seem unimportant to everyone else. But why was the Lascaux cave picked for reproduction? Lascaux is truly extraordinary. In this relatively small grotto, we found an extremely large number of paintings and incised designs that are better preserved than almost anywhere else. It taught us a lot about our ancestors' cave painting all over the world. After all, there were no borders back then. There are hundreds of painted and incised animals, and more than 600 of them have been identified. Bulls, horses, and stags, they're estimated to be 19,000 years old. Pablo Picasso once described their importance for art history, saying, we haven't invented anything new since. Looking at Lascaux, you see that they weren't only hunters and gatherers, but true artists, people with talent and taste. Even though they only had very limited means, and only three colors, yellow, red, and black. Some researchers see images of constellations in the paintings. The original cave, a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site since 1979, has been closed to the public since the 1960s because human breath fostered the growth of fungus and lichens. The first reproduction, Lasco II, has already had to be renovated. That shouldn't be necessary in the new museum, which costs 60 million euros. Lasco II was kind of an experimental lab for us. We learned what we have to do differently to avoid the problems. We adapted the cooling and ventilation system accordingly. But the new museum is not just a reproduction of the grotto. Here, visitors can also experience Lasco digitally, including how four teenagers discovered the cave on September 12, 1940. They went for a walk in the forest with their dog, looking for a hidden treasure, which they found. But even today, more than 75 years later, much about Lasco remains unknown. For example, we can't precisely date the drawings and incised images. We know they weren't all created at the same time. Were new ones added every year? Or every 10 years? It's a mystery. Also, along with the animals, there are many strange symbols. And we don't know what they mean. So the Lasco Cave remains a source of inspiration for contemporary artists, too.